I'm going to read you a book called Penny and Her Doll by Kevin Hanks. Chapter One. Penny and Mama were were in the garden. Mama was weeding. Penny was smelling the flowers. There are a lot of weeds, says Mama. There are a lot of flowers, says Penny. The roses are my favorite. Said Penny. I do not have a favorite weed," said Mama. Penny laughed. Mama kept weeding. Penny kept smelling the roses. A box for Penny called the mail mailman. Oh boy," said Penny. "The box is from Graham," said Mom. Penny opened the box. Mama helped her. There was a note in the box. There was something else in the box. It was wrapped in a pretty paper. First, let's read the note," said Mama. Mama read the note. It said, "Dear Penny, I saw this doll when I was shopping. I thought you would love her. I hope you will. Hugs and kisses, Graham." Penny unwrapped the doll. The doll had pink cheeks. The doll had a pink bow. The doll had a pink dress with big buttons. The doll was soft, and it smelled nice. Penny hugged her new doll. I do," said Penny. "I do love her. I love her already. I can tell," said Mama. Chapter two. Penny showed her doll to the babies. Don't touch," said Penny. Penny showed her doll to Papa. I like her pink cheeks," said Papa. I like her pink bow. I like her pink dress with big buttons. I love her already," said Penny. "I can tell," said Papa. "What is her name?" he asked. Penny was quiet for a moment. "I don't know," he said. Penny's doll did not have a name. "Everyone needs a name," said Papa. Penny's name was Penny. Mama's name was Jane. Papa's name was John. The baby's names were Tilly and Pip. Everyone had a name except Penny's doll. What if I can't? What if I can't think of a name? Said Penny. You will, said Mama. You will, said Papa. Penny tried and tried to think of a name for her doll. Nothing was right. Not Polly. Not Mimi. Not Emma. I can't think of a name for my doll," said Penny. "You will," said Mama. "You will," said Papa. "Your doll has pink cheeks and a pink bow and a pink dress," said Mama. "You could call her Pinky." "No," said Penny. "Your doll has big buttons," said Papa. "You could call her Buttons." "No," said Penny. Smiley said, "Mama, she makes you smile." Lovey said, "Papa, because you love her already." There's always Dolly said, "Mama, no, no, no." Nothing was right. Penny hugged her doll. "Don't worry," she said. "I'll find a name for you." Chapter three. Penny still could not think of a name for her doll. Try not to think too hard," said Mama. "Then maybe a name will come to you," said Papa. Okay," said Penny. "I will show my new doll her new home." Penny showed the kitchen to her doll. "This is where we cook," said Penny. Penny showed her bedroom to her doll. "This is where we sleep," said Penny. Penny showed the bathroom to her doll. "This is where we take a bath," said Penny. "But you can't get wet." Then Penny took her doll to the garden. "This is where I was." When I got you, she said. Penny let her doll smell the rose. Penny was quiet for a moment. Then she ran into the house. Penny found Mama and Papa. I know her name, she said. What is it? Asked Mama. What is it? Asked Papa. Penny held up her new doll. Mama, Papa, she said. This is Rose. Beautiful, said Mama. Wonderful, said Papa. The babies made baby noises. Penny smiled. You, you said a name would come to me, and it did. 
Penny hugged Rose. Now you can stop thinking so hard," said Mama. "Now we can eat lunch," said Papa. "And now everyone has a name," said Penny. The end. What was your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where she finally thought of a name.